What is going on, everyone? Brandon here with Crush the Craving. So it is uh, Wednesday, August 19th, day 69 of my weight loss journey. And, well, we're back on track, which is good. So this morning is the first morning since the weekend binge that uh, the weight is back in the positives. So I was 359.6 going into Saturday morning. And as of this morning, we're back to 358 even. And so it's it's Wednesday. So I got a couple extra days here. We'll see what kind of damage we can do. Um, the goal for the month uh, for the end of August was uh, 15 pounds. So uh, 357 was what I needed to be down to. So it looks like we're going to easily crush that goal, which is great. Um. Something that I wanted to talk about today, uh, and I know the, the you know the name for the channel is Crush the Craving, is you know cravings and urges themselves. Uh, my better half has a really bad habit, knowing that you know I'm dieting and I'm losing weight and I'm trying to cut out as much uh, you know fast food and restaurant food as I can, of calling me when I get out of work. Now, mind you, I don't eat anything from the minute I wake up until you know, sometimes 12 hours later after getting up and she'll call me and go, Hey, can you pick me up, you know, McDonald's or, you know, can you pick me up Taco Bell? Can you, you know, whatever. And so I've been up since, you know, 8 AM it's almost 8 PM now. And I'm sitting in the car with my stomach grumbling, smelling French fries and smelling, a double cheeseburger and I, I don't know about, <laughs> I can't speak for everyone, but uh, you know, I, I do one meal a day. And so when I get hunger pangs, I mean, when I really get hunger pangs, they're hunger pangs and it, it can be rough. You know, right around 7, 7.30, those hunger pangs kick in. My body wants food. It can be really rough. So, uh, I, I haven't really, 69 days in and I haven't found anything to really deal with those true hunger pangs. There's a difference between a, a little tummy rumbling and a true hunger pang. Uh, a true hunger pang is relentless. Uh, it's primal feeling. It feels like your body is, you know, trying to bust the, the walls down to get some food. If you've ever had one, I'm sure that you know that you've had one. <clears throat> but some things that you can do. Um, <clears throat> uh, I work a physical job, so I'm not going to tell you that from the minute I wake up until the minute I leave my job, I don't have any hunger pangs. That's not realistic. I don't eat breakfast, and I haven't in a very long time, but I do get a little bit of a tummy grumbly when I wake up. This is a really easy one to deal with. The average uh, hunger pang that you get is only going to last 15 to 20 minutes, but when I wake up, I'm half asleep. You know, I got to go. I got to shower. I got to get dressed. I got to do all the things I got to do before I go to my, my job. So I have stuff to occupy my, my brain and it goes away pretty good. Then I go to work and I walk a lot at my job, you know, five to 10 miles every day. And it is uh, fascinating just how effective exercise is and how effective it is keeping your brain off of food. Either I go a long period of time without a hunger pang of any kind, or it's easily forgotten. But um, things that I like to do, um, I love to keep zero calorie liquids with me. Water. I have a, a bottle of water that I fill up probably four times a night, like a 32 ounce bottle of water. And I bring some Gatorade Zeros with me. Now, I'm not saying bring 64 ounces of Gatorade Zero and, and pound it. You know, I bring two of them with me uh, on the off chance, 
uh, the, on the off chance that our warehouse is really hot because sometimes I need some some salt, some electrolytes of some kind. I need something because I get really dizzy. But I'll do like a really big swig off my water, you know, and then I'll take a, a sip of the Gatorade to kind of give it, you know, to leave that flavor on my taste buds. And that works for me. That gets me through any sort of rough patches, really. <clears throat> to be honest, that and just being used to doing it at this point. I've only, in uh, 69 days, I've had one moment where the hunger pang got the best of me, and that was the four-hour-long hunger pang I had two weeks ago. There was nothing I could do about it. It wouldn't go away. Girlfriend was throwing cheese sticks at me. She's going, eat, 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 and you know, I ate a little bit, and it just nothing. It, it was relentless. So, um, if you get to the point where the hunger pang doesn't go away, your body is telling you you need something. Go eat. And I don't mean go eat a handful of baby carrots. I mean go eat food. Um, you're not going to do that much damage to your diet. Uh, and your body will thank you. And if it's something that isn't a two to four hour long hunger pang, uh, just do something else. Literally do anything. Go play a video game. Go outside and have a walk. Exercise is such an effective method for helping deal with hunger pangs. And... I know that most people would think that exercise makes you more hungry, and I guess eventually that's what it leads to, but in the moment of doing it, your body lets out endorphins that uh, make you feel good, and they kind of mask that. So, you know, uh, there's not a lot you can do about hunger pangs because they're a natural part of the human body, and as your body decides it needs something, you're going to have them. Uh, the ultimate goal is to learn how to deal with the discomfort of a hunger pang and knowing when a hunger pang is more than a hunger pang. Because I felt like garbage leading up to the big one that I had. And I felt a lot better a couple days later after that big cheat. You know, that week afterwards, I felt pretty good. And I think it was just a calling from my body that, you know, hey, I need more uh, than what you've been giving me. So... Now, I do apologize that the last, you know, the first video was like 20 plus minutes long. Um, it's a lot, and I'm sorry, but I felt like there was a lot of information I needed to get out. Um, I also apologize for the quality of, you know, said videos. I don't have a great camera set up, so I'm actually doing this on my phone. And uh, other than doing it in here and it's not super bright, I'd say that it, you know, looks and sounds pretty good, so... I think that's uh that's where we're going to cut this off today, you know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, you know, leave them down in the comments and uh please hit the subscribe button if you do in fact want to keep along with this. I am just a normal human being dealing with normal human being struggles and I want to do the best I can to share those with other people and you know maybe do some good in the world. So uh have a wonderful night. Crush your cravings and I will talk to you later. See ya.